In this tutorial, we're going to try and show uh, how you set the tab settings and set impact with the tabs at the bottom, regardless of the video that's in the, in the uh, screen. First of all, you need to click on the impact tab, which is the third from the right. If you hover over it for long enough, it should come up with an impact hover text. Now you can see here the impact hover text has appeared, but the corresponding video here of Lee Westwood doesn't really relate to an impact position. So you need to right click on the impact tab drag it so it moves the swing all the way back to the impact position once you're happy with that position if you double left click in the center of the ball on the impact tab you'll notice all the other tabs move together now if you select or any tab you should be able to finally adjust if required and by right clicking and dragging the tab back to the correct position as we see we're doing here with Lee Westwood so it's the top of the backswing and then 12 o'clock down. Once you've done this with a saved video clip or you've saved your video clip from here then every swing on the system will be synced and that's important if you're going to use things like um, the strobe button, four pictures or eight pictures. So another tutorial will show you some of the effects that you can produce with a strobe and some of the other functionality. Moving on from setting the tab settings, uh, which are crucial to some of the functionality, particularly the strobe effect here. If we hit the strobe effect now, once the tabs are in position, we have an option to strobe up, strobe down, strobe up and down, uh, strobe impact to end. So we're going to use the latter option in a moment, but you also have the option to change the step pattern. Now this is shot that we have of Lee Westwood here is using a high speed camera, so there's a lot of frames, 300 frames per second. So It'll take a while for the computer to do every step, but we're going to give this a try to give you an idea of what it would look like. So we're going to select step one, and then we're going to select the strobe button again, and this time we're just going to select the strobe from impact tab to the end of the swing. So we're going to hit that. So as you can see, that strobed every single frame in here. It's a quite a great effect. You can see the through swing. We can also see the ball's trajectory. That's a great one, in fact, on a good day you can almost get the ball tracking all the way to the target line. So, uh, we'll show you one or two more examples in just a moment. So here we go with Sergio. We're going to hit the strobe button and we're going to go impact to end. I think we have the ball fly a little bit longer in this particular video so it will be great to see how far we can actually track the ball. So in this clip, we'll choose your already from the front. So ideally here, by hitting the strobe button, we can then select strobe up. This will use the initial tab on the left hand side, which we previously showed you how to set in the tabs video. And it will run every frame, 300 frames per second. So approximately 400 to 450 frames in view by the time uh, Rory reaches the top of the backswing. Once again, we have the option to hit the silhouette button and then we can play the video through the backswing and then into the downswing and we can see of course the downswing narrowing substantially as we come towards the impact position.